juice too. You're so sweet. I'm really into cooking now. So I, I look like such a hot mess right now, but I woke up feeling so sick this morning. So today's vlog is probably gonna be super short, but I didn't wanna miss it because my favorite part of the day is when I upload my video and I'm going through reading all of your comments. So because that's my favorite part, I was like scared that if I didn't film today, there was gonna be a day that when I was supposed to upload today's vlog, I wouldn't have a vlog to upload and then I wouldn't have that like excitement in the day from getting like the new comments on a new video. I don't know if that even makes sense. I feel like I'm a little bit like disoriented. I just feel really sick, but um, I think it's a combination of just traveling a lot, not getting a lot of sleep, probably partying a little bit too hard. And I woke up and I started feeling it a little bit last night. Like I wasn't feeling amazing, but I was like, whatever, you're gonna go to sleep, wake up and you'll be fine. But then I did go to sleep and I woke up and I don't feel fine. My throat is like super sore and scratchy and I don't have tonsils so they're not swollen but I feel like if I did have tonsils they'd be really swollen. I'm also like super stuffy and congested. I have a headache. My whole just like from here up just hurts and aches. I don't feel anything like my stomach or anything. None of that is bothering me. It's really just like probably a just head cold but I'm a baby and I'm a drama queen so even when I just get a head cold I'm like oh my gosh I'm dying take me to urgent care but I was thinking about it and I was like I definitely still want to film today but I don't know what I can film so I thought I would just do a sick day routine for you guys so um yeah this is what I do on my sick days it's probably pretty boring I mainly sit here in bed I just like honestly don't really want to move so I'm gonna upload Saturday's video and then I'm probably going to just do some work from bed I already texted the girls at the office they were like oh my goodness what can we bring you so I might have them go grab me some soup in a little while um, because that sounds really good you know what sounds the best Panera broccoli cheddar soup and by the way a lot of you have been asking me about how my dairy free is going I actually broke that the night of the movie premiere that I went to because um, I don't remember why I like can't even think straight oh because I didn't really know what had butter in it what there were a lot of like vegetables and chicken and stuff and I wasn't sure what was marinated or sauteed in butter so I feel like I broke it that night but then over the weekend we had cake and pizza and all of that and I ate it and let me just tell you that pizza not having it for almost like five weeks and then having a slice of pizza, I have never tasted something like that cheese and that gooey. Oh my goodness, it tasted so good. I don't know, I don't think that has anything to do with me not feeling well. I honestly think I just pushed myself a little bit too hard. Magda brought the boys back and I'm so excited to see them and all they want is to play with their ball. They ran into the apartment and immediately grabbed this. And I was like, don't you wanna say hi to me? Didn't you miss me? but that's all they want. I don't know why, but I do not have a tea kettle at this house, so I'm just boiling some water on the stove. It's around lunchtime, and I'm going to make myself some hot and spicy ramen, cup of noodles, because that is the closest thing I have to soup. Then I'm also making myself a big mug of tea, and I'm gonna chug this emergency immune thing that sometimes makes me feel better when I'm getting sick. Okay, looks like my water is boiling. I'm gonna pour some in here first. Oh, I feel like this is gonna get all over me. Oh no, oh look at that pour. Woohoo, just a little bit on the counter. Now I'm gonna cover that, let that sit for a little while. Then the remainder in here. Oh my goodness, this pot is perfect to do one cup of tea and one cup of noodles. Then I'm just taking my green tea. I'm gonna steep this in here for a little while. By the way, today's mug says, you've cat to be kitten me right meow with a super cute little kitty on it because that is how I feel about being sick right now. And then on the inside, of the mug it says meow that's upside down but you can see it that is what it looks like so I'm just gonna let 
the tea steep and the cup of noodles get ready. Sometimes I put something a little heavier on top just to hold that lid down. And then in about like, I don't know, three minutes, it'll be ready to get in my tummy. So I don't have a bath in my bedroom upstairs, but I do have one in the downstairs guest bathroom. So I'm gonna fill this up. I actually just used my last Lush bath bomb. So I don't have anything fun to put in this bath, but I just do not feel well enough to go out and get something. Typically, I would want to put like a bath bomb or some bath salts in here. I made another cup of tea because that one seemed to make my throat feel a lot better. So this is actually a cup of Earl Grey tea and I have it in the same mug, it's so cute. And then I have some of just my essentials because I like to take a bath and then I stand up and take a shower and do the whole like wash my body, shave, all that. But the one thing that I keep in my cupboard, it's not even gonna focus for days like this. This is the Aveeno Stress Relief Body Wash. I'm not stressed, but I'm just sick. But the lavender and chamomile in this is the best if you wanna take like just a very soothing bath if you don't feel well or if you are stressed and you just wanna take a nighttime bath. So I do use this not every day for my body wash, but I keep this for days when I really want that lavender chamomile. I feel like if I use it in the morning, sometimes it makes me like more relaxed and sleepy. So I just like to use it for days like this. I also went ahead and lit a really good smelling candle. So I'm going to dim the lights a little bit. I'm going to put on a playlist on my phone to listen to. I have a towel rolled up like a little neck pillow to put behind me. And I'm just going to sit and soak for a little while until I'm super pruney and feel better. My hair is still wet at the ends, but I'm just letting it air dry because I'm not going anywhere today, so I don't really care if it gets a little bit frizzy and fluffy. Um, I also changed into my onesie after my bath. This one is from One Piece. I actually have two of these. I have this light pink one, and then I also have a black one, and I just love getting in something cozy like a onesie and getting back into bed when I'm sick. So now I'm probably going to just lay down for a little bit and play on my phone. I'm also going to work on tomorrow's vlog so I'm gonna go ahead and edit that and I have a lot of work to do on the computer for the shop so for shopglitzyglam.com we have some new products that we're launching and I've already taken all of the photos of them but I need to type out the description and put in the quantity and all of that stuff and then also we had some products that were out of stock like the USB pom-pom keychains that we got more in so I'm gonna list those on the site so that will go up the morning that this video goes up so if you're seeing this in the video those new products should already be up so I will put a link down in the bottom below for you to go check those out. The USB pom-pom keychains, the manufacturer that we're using, only had a few that they were able to send to us, so we are working on getting them faster over to us and just be able to kind of keep those in stock because those are definitely our number one seller and what sells out the fastest. But I think we should have enough to at least get us through like the people that have really been wanting them. And then we're gonna figure out how to get them faster and more of them. I feel like I'm not even making sense right now. So I'm gonna do that. I'm probably gonna take a little bit of a nap and then I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. My favorite thing right now are these little lamb slippers that I got from Target. They're so cute. And Mochi keeps thinking that I have like stuffed animal toys attached to my feet. So he's following me around just chewing on them. But they're so adorable and they're making me smile when I don't feel, I don't know, amazing. Alexa, what did you bring me? I made you soup. You're so sweet. I'm really into cooking now, so I don't know if it's good or not, but I made it with rice noodles, and so just in case you're like, I didn't want it to hurt unless you have gluten problems. Oh. When you're sick, that like acts up. So it's bone broth too, and bone oh broth is like, will help you feel better soon. You are so. so sweet. The boys really like it, and I think it smells so good. I'm so excited. Like bone broth. And if you're not hungry now, we can put it in the fridge and you can eat it tomorrow. Oh no, I'm gonna eat it right now. I love how I don't have a dining table, I just have a coffee table, so we put it on top of the yeah, it's also really hot. game board. Oh, I'm so excited. I feel like the boys want a piece of chicken. Here. Give the boys some chicken. It's also coated in bone broth, which is like okay. an animal's food. Come here, Teddy. Come here. Spin. Good boy. Mochi. Mochi has his toy, but I'll get you a piece. Mochi doesn't know how to spin, so he just sits. 
I can definitely still feel that I'm pretty sick because I go from being so warm that I don't wanna be under any covers and I just wanna take my onesie completely off and then I go back to being super cold and I wanna wrap myself up, put the hood up, everything. So I don't know how I'm gonna to feel tomorrow but I'm just crossing my fingers that I got enough rest today. I probably should have slept a little bit more today but to be honest, I started working on my computer and then I feel like the entire day just got away from me. But I just have to say, I do not know what I did in life to deserve friends as amazing as I have. But like Alexa, just bringing over chicken noodle soup that she made is the sweetest thing. I was not expecting it at all. And I was just sitting there like, what in the world? Like I was eating it and it was so good by the way. And I was just sitting there talking to her and she just came over and just wanted to like sit and chat and keep me company for a little while. And I was like, I don't know what I did to deserve such amazing friends in my life, but whatever it is, I'm not complaining because I love them so much. But um, my question of the vlog today is, do I ever see myself moving back to Tennessee and where do I see myself settling down like with a family in my future. To be honest, to the second part of that question, I have no idea. I don't know where I'm gonna settle down. I don't know where I wanna raise my kids. That's like, you know, some years off from now. So I don't even have an answer for that, but I don't think it will be in Tennessee. I do miss Tennessee sometimes, and sometimes I think about moving back there, but LA feels more like my home now and I don't know if I would be able to leave my friends and go somewhere as extreme as Tennessee, like that far away from my friends. I feel like if I wanted to move like an hour, two hours away from LA or something, that would be fine. But I honestly just can't imagine leaving my friends. There's like a hair or a fuzz on my face, I'm sorry. I can't imagine leaving my friends and moving too far away because I just love them and I want them in my life forever. Um, and today I probably should have got some more sleep than I did, but I just started working on my computer and the next thing I know, the day had gotten away from me. So I'm gonna go get some sleep right now. And if you have time to go down and write a little comment, um, that is my favorite part of my day. And I would really love to read that. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and tap that subscribe button down below and join the family. Also make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and leave me a comment down below. So I have something fun to read. I just love scrolling through your comments. I try to thumbs up or reply or heart as many of them as I can. But sorry, I feel like I'm like swallowing a lot in this video. My throat is just so scratchy. I think I was just yelling way too much this weekend. But I'm gonna go ahead and cuddle up and go to bed. I'm in like a cold phase right now, so I'm feeling really chilly. But I'll probably wake up in the middle of the night like in some major heat sweats. And yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and go. But I love you guys so much. Bye.